It's Saturday the 13th of June 2015 and I uh, decided to take it a little bit easier today not do some heavy work in the uh, cow stalls at the workshop and instead focus on the beer cellar which is also very important. So uh, as you might have seen in earlier videos this is a small vaulted cellar and it measures about I don't know three by four meters it's not that big. Um, high enough though at the moment so I guess it's about two and a half meters high from where I'm standing now and uh, well that'll shorten because what we're going to do at some stage in the next couple of months is then put some sort of screed down and then put some uh, paving stones down which will bring the level up to the same as this sandstone step that's there um, so there's some stones I might need to take out but otherwise I ain't going to do much more it's a little bit damp in spots so the house is built directly onto um, kind of the, the, the clay underneath a very shallow foundation um, so if I just dig here I'm, I'm straight into clay so with the water table and whatnot and we're built into a hillside there's always going to be some sort of dampness so uh, I'm not going to put in a damp proof course or anything like that because that would basically seal the floor and mean any dampness travels into the wall and up the wall which I want to avoid so we'll make sure that it's all completely breathable and uh, so the floor can breathe and uh, we won't get any kind of damp rising up so today what we're going to do, uh, my son and I, we're going to start knocking off uh, bits of plaster that are on uh, this wall on the east side and uh, start cleaning off the stones basically, see what they look like. But first get the plaster off. The rest doesn't really have much plaster. Um, the ceiling definitely doesn't. Uh, the other wall, you can see the stones, it's, it's okay. So uh, get the plaster off first and then I'll get the angle grinder with a brush attachment or we'll just use a wire brush by hand and uh, just start cleaning the stones off and see what condition the uh, the mortar and stuff is like. So we'll come back later on and do a little video of uh, the progress, see how it looks. But I think this is a, this is a f easy job really. Uh, dirty, but easy and uh, we can actually finish this off fairly soon, I think. So it's a couple of hours later and we've gotten all the plaster off the eastern side of the cellar. And the plaster was, yeah, quite easy to remove actually so it's a kind of decayed maybe lime based plaster with lots of sand and patches of clay and the odd patch of uh, concrete which is kind of very hard and uh, yeah most of it came off fairly easily so now we're at a stage where um, yeah the stones need to be cleaned basically and also between each of the stones uh, we need to remove uh, maybe two or three centimeters in depth of whatever old mortar is there uh, in some places it's uh, come out itself and it's uh, held together mostly by clay actually so uh, you can see these patches of quite damp looking clay and uh, you know clay here with bits of uh, straw and stuff in it, organics and uh, other patches are kind of decayed um, ah, here we go uh, yeah really crappy mortar as well so some lime in there I think so yeah, we've we had to do this in all the other cellars. Um, so where the Technics room is, uh, well, the heating equipment is, we, we've done all that. The only thing is that we sandblasted the walls after it. So they were really clean uh, before we repointed. Here, I don't really want to do sandblasting um, because, well, we're living here now and it's really a dirty job. And no matter how much you seal things and like we'd put curtains up and whatnot, dust just goes everywhere. So I'd rather not do that. So I'm going to try doing it by hand. And um, we kind of practiced a little bit here with a, just a wire brush. And it comes up quite okay. It'll give a rustic look. And if that's not strong enough or it's just a pain in the ass, then I'll use an angle grinder with the uh, the uh, brush attachment, or whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. I also got distracted a bit because uh, there was a corner of a what looked like a slab uh, sticking up uh, in the, the ground there. And they turned out to be a couple of uh, sandstone slabs. And that's about a meter by by half a meter. And uh, that one's a bit smaller, uh, four or five centimeters thick, pretty heavy. I shouldn't have lifted it with my issues. Uh, but anyway, uh, that could have represented the original floor level. And uh, in the kind of outer area there, uh, where we're looking at there, that did have um, sandstone flagstones basically and we've recovered all of those and they're now stored in the barn so maybe that's an idea to kind of clean those off and uh, reinstate them here as a sandstone floor 
so that's an option. I mightn't have enough to do it all, but uh, that'd be nice to reuse them. Anyway, so uh, next job, we're going to start now and uh, uh, trying to clean stuff off and see how it looks after. Um, the other wall here, that's a much better kind of nick and um, uh, there's no plaster really on it. The, the kind of stuff up there is bits of mortar that uh, have been splashed on but it's a much uh, harder and a better condition than uh, the wall that was behind me. So I need to decide what to do with that. Maybe we just give it a clean and uh, less work to do and uh, yeah we'll give it a clean and see how it looks and if there's anything loose we'll, we'll hack it out and uh, repoint. So yeah getting there. Well I tried giving it a go with uh, the angle grinder with the wire brush attachment and also drill with a wire brush attachment and uh, well, to be honest it's just a pain in the arse so the stones on the wall there are lots of them are quite rough um, you can see kind of the bright ones where I had a go you know it's kind of okay but you can't get into the cracks and stuff it's just not the same as using a uh, sandblaster um, a little bit more success on the wall here so on the left hand side uh, I did a kind of a two by one meter area and uh, brushed them all off and yeah it's it's a bit better but when you compare it to the results you get with a sandblaster and uh, that's what you get with the sandblaster there on the left uh, so they haven't been repointed at all yet but you get pretty clean so um, I'm going to see can I get a small sandblaster uh, with a small compressor. So the one that we've got is a, a big giant thing from the 1970s and you need one of those industrial sized diesel compressors uh, with pretty heavy uh, pressure in them. And um, I kind of thought if I get a smaller compressor, so a friend has a small compressor and if he has a sand blasting attachment for that, um, it might be a little bit easier to control the amount of dirt that's flying out around the place but anyway that's something I'm going to explore so uh, I'm going to park this for the moment uh, rest my back and uh, pick it up again during the week